Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to run SQL queries in Excel, like in my workbook. Here I'm using the SQL formula and select my query. And then I will choose my table cell range I want to use. After hitting enter we can see the result down here. The neat thing is that the result will update automatically when I change my query. Before we start let me point out that this solution will only work on Windows and you need to have Python installed on your machine. Ok, and with that said, let us get started. As you might already know, by default there is no SQL formula available in Excel. To use SQL we need to install a Python package called Excel Wings. You can install it by typing pip install Excel Wings in your command prompt or terminal. Once that is done we also need to install the Excel Wings add-in. The installation is pretty straightforward. Just type Excel Wings add-in install and hit enter. And that's it. When I close my current workbook and reopen it, I should have a new section in my ribbon. It is called Excel Wings. In this video I will not go into the specifics of how to use the add-in. If you are interested in that I recommend the following video which I will also link in the info card above. With that said let me write some SQL in Excel. When I type SQ I can already see within the auto completion that I have a new Excel formula named SQL. When I select it and open the formula menu we can see that it takes two arguments, the query and table. You could write the SQL query directly in the formula if you want, yet I like to link it to a cell. In my case I will select A12. Afterwards I will specify the table. As soon as you select one table you will notice that there will be an additional argument field. So you can select multiple tables instead of only one. We will come back to that feature in just a moment. But for now let me confirm my input by hitting the OK button. As a result I will get an error message and this is expected as we haven't entered an SQL query yet. So let me go ahead and select the ID and title from our table and filter it by the language. And voila we will get back the result down here. A couple of remarks before we go further. For the sake of this tutorial I have added conditional formatting to the cells below. That is why you can see an orange fill color here. For the table name I have used a single letter. The first table you are referring to should be A, the second table B and so on. You will see what I mean and how it works in just a moment. The next thing I want to highlight is the SQL syntax. I have capitalized the SQL commands. However this is not required. You could also write the commands in lowercase. And lastly I want to point out that Excel Wings inserted an array formula. That means our query result will change dynamically. To show you this let me only retrieve the English books. Ok guys and this is pretty much how you can use SQL in Excel. For the rest of the tutorial I will show you some more sample queries which I have written down here. To spot the SQL statements easier I have used a blue font. I will also upload this workbook to GitHub, so feel free to download it and test it out yourself. With that said let me copy and paste the first example. As mentioned the query result will change dynamically without adjusting the formula. The neat thing is that you can now leverage the full power of SQL. So let us say we want to count the book titles and group them by language. For this I have written the following SQL statement. I think this is already pretty cool. But you are not only limited to working with one table. In the next example I want to combine the book table with the editor one. For this I am using an inner join. However when I paste the code into my cell I get the following error message. As I am referring to a second table Excel Wings expects a table name called B. Yet when we look at our formula I have only specified one table. So let me delete the output here and rewrite the formula. So first SQL followed by the query. As before I will pick cell A12. Next I will define the first table, so table A. Afterwards I will select table B, so the editors. After hitting enter we can now see our result. And to validate the result let us go through the SQL command. I have selected the ID and title from the book table, so table A. And then I used an inner join on the book table to get the editor's first and last name. So if we pick book number 4 the editor is 24. That means the name is Joseph Slater. Alright this seems to be working. As before you could also change the query and the result will update accordingly. In my case I will also include the language column. 
Okay, and for the last example, I will merge all three tables. Therefore, let me copy and paste my example query and zoom out a bit. As before, we will get an error message, as I have now included a third table, so table name C, which we have not inserted in our formula yet. So let me delete the error message and use the SQL formula again. This time I will select all three tables. By the way, this will also work if your tables are not in the same worksheet. Just like a standard Excel formula, you can also refer to any other cell range you might have in your spreadsheet. Okay, and with that said, you might ask yourself, what happens if you save this workbook and send it to a colleague who does not have Python and the Excel Wings add-in installed on their computer? To find out what happens, I will save and close my current workbook. Then I will deinstall the add-in by running Excel Wings add-in uninstall in my terminal. Once that is done, let me reopen my spreadsheet. And as soon as the workbook is loaded, I'm getting the following error message saying that this workbook contains links to an external source. Let me close this message and click on our cell to validate if we still can see the SQL formula. And you will notice that the formula looks different now. In fact, when I try to insert a formula, you will see that we are back where we have started. The SQL formula does not appear. And as soon as I change the query, we will get an error. So the SQL formula only works if you have Python and the Excel Wings add-in installed. Keep that in mind if you want to share your results. However, of course, you always have the option to copy and paste the result as hard values in your spreadsheet before sharing it with others. Okay guys, and that is all I have for you today. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.